Regularly each morning, Miss Jones catches a tram to take her to business. She is one of the 255 million passengers carried by the Melbourne tramways each year. Let us see how such a vast system is kept working efficiently and safely. First, tracks must be laid, well laid to avoid constant maintenance expense. Trams must be built. The tramways workshops at Preston cover 18 acres and employ 650 people, mostly skilled artisans. One new tram can be completed weekly. Drivers must be taught to drive safely and well. Conductors and conductresses also need training. The nerve centre of the system is the control room, where the happenings on every section of the 130 miles of overhead lines and in the 23 power substations are automatically recorded. Converting alternating electric current to the necessary direct current is like a speed Gordon fantasy. Dislocation of the service at any point sets a breakdown crew in motion within 60 seconds. In this case, a derailment is staged purely as training practice. Each tram gets its daily scrub and shower. Brakes are examined and wheels are trued regularly for smooth running. Thoroughly cleaned and overhauled, the tram is dispatched to pick up Miss Jones and take her to business along tracks that are given constant care. It is in progressive public bodies, such as the Melbourne Tramways Board, that the life assurance officers of Australia invest the savings of you and three million other Australians. Such safe and profitable investments help to earn bonuses, the plus in your policy, the welcome addition to the amount you contract to receive. Furthermore, your independent life officers help Australia as a whole by supporting the development of important national works. Every Australian benefits through life assurance.